from to Lagos. Thank you, sir. We have been confronted with a situation that, quite frankly, we are not prepared for. Get out of the way now! I've been trying to reach my wife all day. What? What happened? Caught wedding, bro. Have you, have you met my mother-in-law? Oh, my daughter is getting married! Everybody, get in! That I should give your job to somebody else to do. Papa, I don't have my money. And thank you so much for doing this with me. Thank you. We are still doing this, man. We are doing this. So today we'll be reviewing a 2021 Nigerian movie titled Lockdown. Now, Lockdown is a movie with amazing actors and actresses like Kende, Sola Sobowale, Choma Chukuka Pota. Um, you have Demi Okanlawo, you have Inidima Okoje, you also have uh, Tony Umez, Josh, okay, Josh Alfred, um, he's a comedian, you know, that is Josh Too Funny. You also have um, Jide Kene Achifusi, you have Ben Tuotuo, you have Jerry Amilo, and an amazing director like Moses L. Wang. Now this movie is an amazing movie, kind of like reminded me of that Ebola time, how Ebola came in. I think that was what they were trying to mirror, but they did it amazingly well. I must commend Moses L. Wang and commend the actors and actresses. They all put in their very best. It was a, a movie that I don't have any problem about this movie because I think I'm an idealist, okay? It ended the way I wanted it to end. It went through the process. It, it, it did a lot for me. I was taken back to that Ebola time and the fear, the, you know, the, the it was a huge scare. And, you know, it also made us remember those who lost their lives during that time and the sacrifices that were made um, from the first people that discovered that dreadful, dreadful virus. Now, um, this movie, Lockdown, has, you know, several characters. You have Tony Umez. I'll start with him. Tony Umez is a dispatch rider who has a very sick wife who had... Um, cancer of the lungs now he is struggling to make ends meet to buy drugs for his wife who is in the last stage of um, lung cancer he knows definitely that she'll be dying anytime from that time few days or weeks give and take and then we have um jide achifusi who is with his friend uh, who is getting married to Sola Sobowale's daughter and um, the mistakes he made um, as they were going for the court wedding you know Sola Sobowale she, she likes drama so she said ah they want to show everybody all those that came from America and all that that yes they are finally getting married as the you know the groom and his friend were going to the court wedding going for the court wedding they saw they witnessed an accident and um this hit and run driver just left the little girl there and the groom is like you know what let's go rush this girl to the hospital and Jide uh, is like there's no time for that you're late for your wedding you don't, you don't want to get married and they were like okay let us go through the shortcut 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 they landed in the hospital that um Motula Jalade is the chief medical pro um, practitioner there and she was on call that day and also, Tony Umez had, had um, a last dispatch for the day, delivery for that day before he collects his salary by fire by force at that hospital. And then we have um, Josh Tufoni, who, you know, his father was always on him, like, you can't do anything. You not get anything when you they do, when you sabi do. Now, so, so, now, so, so, today, chop my money, today, today, chop my food. Nothing when you sabi do. Get up, walk. Which kind of person you be safe? You know, that kind of thing. And it happened that, incidentally, the, the, 
you know, all this betting thing that he did, he won. I think he won 10 million naira. And as he was jubilating, the father carried him as he was jubilating his hand, he defined a huge cut that finally he had to go to that hospital for stitches before going to claim his money. And, um, we have Choma Akpota, who is a nurse in the hospital, but, you know, had finished her shift, but her colleague begged her with 10K, you know, as an Ipo girl consign, that uh, she agreed for 10K, despite all the pleading that she would stay for her, she would stay in place of her colleague who had exams to write. So the colleague paid her 5,000 Naira, um to <laughs> pay the remaining after you know when they get your salary now we have choma Akota. we also have who else again we have uh, inidima okay he who needed a medical report for an interview um a job for a job interview and she had to go to the nearest um, hospital which is that hospital now there's this guy this foreigner who came in from nine who came into nigeria and he had severe health conditions he was coughing he was you know coughing blood blah 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 fever and all that and they brought him to this hospital now you know um Omotola Jelade, checked him out they ran tests and all that only to see that he had a dreaded um virus was suspected of having a dreaded um, virus and then um this infectious disease people came in and they quarantined the whole place nobody gets in nobody goes out so inside that you know hospital the the second phase of this plot ensued which was you know the patients all having their own struggles now outside the a, a bride is waiting telling you have to come out to, so you don't want to marry me it's like it's not my it's not my, it's not it's not it's not um if I if I could, I would have come out to get married to you. And so last of all, saying, you must release my son-in-law. I will call the commissioner of police. I will call the ASP. Blah, 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 blah. And blah. And then just too funny in there saying, you know what? I want to go and claim that my 10 million no, because, the, you know, there was a short time. So much so that he had to contact his friends and all that. They came, you know, lodged a test and all that. There was a shootout, you know, um, and a suspected death and all that. I will not want to tell you everything. But if you have watched the movie, you should know what I'm talking about. Now, um, furthermore, you will see the relationship, how strong the relationship of um, this bride and groom is. And um, whether they weather through the storm or not. Now, this story, what you know, so many things were happening at the same time. Now, Tony Gomez also has uh, had his wife who... He was worried about it and was like, you let me go. Let me go and be with my wife or let my wife come in. And none of that was happening at all. You have Demi Okanlawo who was cheating on his wife. His wife got to know and then his wife went into labor. He was so, he was so beside himself with guilt, but he wanted to be there for his wife. Kept on apologizing and all of that. Later on, he was like, you know what? I want to stay there with my wife. If we are dying, let's die together. You understand <laughs> so all of that all was happening which made me so happy because most times the story is not well told most times most directors most um, plot they can't handle so many things happening at the same time and moving forward at the same time but in this movie everything was happening at the same time moving forward at the same time what was you know so many things we're getting explained and carrying us along. And we were like, oh, it, it, for me, it felt like I was in the hospital as well. You know, I was on lockdown as well. I was quarantined as well. You know, that showed you, it, it was a movie that carried you along. You, 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 it would tend to pull you in. And you understand the pain, the anxieties, the fear, the betrayal, the guilt of the different characters you know in this movie and um though the cinematography wasn't too wonderful especially the the picture quality but it was an amazing movie it was an amazing amazing movie such that i'll be rating it a nine over ten it ran true to home and brought the story home it was there was no room for any yeah, yeah nonsense you understand so when it ended it ended really well and i think i shed a tear or two yes 
uh, you know it was amazing so which brings me to the end of this drama review this movie review have you seen it have you seen it i hope you've seen it please if you have please leave a comment down below i'll be sure to respond up there you see my korean movie review my chinese movie review my nigeria movie reviews and then again my movie reviews if you haven't subscribed please do hit on the subscribe button turn up your post notifications to be alerted when new videos come up yeah because many more videos will be coming up i'm not quitting anytime soon thank you so much for doing this with me